Hi everybody, Saturday, May 14th, 2016. I am going to show you dip soldering. I have these circuit boards and I do all the surface mount stuff using a pick and place machine that I bought last year um, where I just squeegee out the solder paste and uh, use the pick and place machine and then I put it in a reflow oven. Um, but the through hole components would normally have to be hand soldered and you can see this is tonight's run I've, I've just been doing these yeah I got nothing better to do on a Saturday than make printed circuit boards such is my life alright um, anyway that's the last of the through hole components there are a couple more through hole components but I've stuck capped on tape on the bottom so that they aren't going to solder tonight and it's because they're fine pitch through hole and fine pitch sometimes has a lot of bridges in the solder pot so everything's loaded I have to double check everything's fully seated I have a hairspray bottle here that I've filled with solder flux give it a few puffs and this is my solder pot that I bought off of eBay several years ago I, I don't even know if they still sell it because it's a big solder pot the SM1500F <coughs> I've got it at 300 degrees C and this is it can hold about five pounds of lead free solder and you can see there's dross all over the top now I'll clear that off in a second but first I'm going to preheat the board for about 10 seconds and you're going to see that I can solder all the through holes in about three seconds once once I actually start the process I just preheat the board to activate the uh, flux and I scoop off the dross expose nice clean lead free solder and then here goes three seconds one one thousand two one thousand three one thousand the, bo the boards are actually kind of floating on the solder if I were, had dropped them completely they wouldn't have sunk but then all of my <laughs> all of my surface mount stuff would have unsoldered itself because the board would get too hot anyway it's done Ooh, except that one had some bridges yeah, that occasionally happens. I think I wasn't paying attention when I lifted it out. But overall, 90% of those joints are better than you could do by hand. I don't know if this is going to upload in high definition, but they're pretty darn good solder joints. All right. I hope you enjoy. All right. Bye.